Parents. Hey, we all know who parents are, a mom and a dad. Is it always that simple? Well, believe it or not, it isn't always that simple, and that takes us to this week's case. It involves a couple in Nebraska, same-sex couple. They had a long-term relationship. Now, before I go to this, you might ask again, why are they dealing with same-sex situations so many times? Well, the reason is because the law is dealing with it a lot today, because the law is trying to figure out what rights do exist, especially when same-sex relationships are not recognized in a given state. The fact is, it still happens, and how is the law going to deal with it? Well, this is case arises in Nebraska. Nebraska does not recognize same-sex relationships. Two women living together, and they decide to have a child. Well, one of the women becomes pregnant through artificial insemination. And as a result, they have a child. Well, the child grows up. Four years later, they decide, hey, this is not, this is not a relationship we want to have, therefore we're going to split, and we're not going to be having that relationship anymore. And as to the kid, well, both said, I want custody. I want visitation. Well, they got that worked out, and the mom, who was the birth mom, was agreed to have the custody. But as to visitation, the mom, who was the birth mom, said, I don't want this partner of mine, who I thought I was going to have a relationship with forever, to have visitation rights to my child. Well, when that spouse, quote unquote, of that relationship tried to get visitation, the natural mom, who had given birth to the child said, you can't do that, can't do that, because you're not the natural parent and you're not an adoptive parent. You have no relationship to this little boy. Therefore, you have no right. Well, it wound its way through the courts, wound its way through the courts. And the courts looked at this very carefully and came up with an approach which may seem a little strange because it involves terminology that you might not be familiar with. It involves what's in Latin referred to as parentis and loco. And what that is, is that if somebody acts like a parent, that person can be considered as a parent. This is a concept that's been around for thousands of years. But basically it means that if somebody acts like a parent, they get the rights of being a parent. In this instance, the court looked at it and said, well, let's examine what this woman did. She was there at the time of the birth. She took care of the child when her partner wasn't available. She helped basically teach the child to walk, to read, and do all the things that a parent normally would do. Therefore, she acted like a parent. And since she acted like a parent, we're going to consider her to be a parent. And as a result, we grant to her visitation rights. Visitation rights. Now again, visitation different than custody, but she granted to her visitation rights. All right, now you might remember some other cases we've dealt with in the past, such as with a stepfather who became a parent in loco, a parent who essentially, for all intents and purposes, was a parent, even though he was not the natural father and was not an adopted father, and he was granted visitation rights. Who are the kind of people who can get visitation rights in these kind of situations? Obviously, we see this with the same-sex couple. It can also happen when you have people who may get together, may not ever be married, could be a man and a woman, may never be married. The woman had a child prior to the marriage, but the, her partner acts like he is the father, looks after the kid, and when they break up, he might want to have visitation rights. Could be an uncle, could be an aunt, any number of people who have acted like a parent to that child will, by the courts, be considered to be a parent and be given visitation rights. Now, it's all dependent on the facts. What did that person do? To what extent did that person actually act as a parent? Well, we bring you this case this week so you understand a concept in the law that sometimes when you read about this stuff you say, what the heck happened there? But we're not going to tell you this is a simple technicality. We want you to understand the law so you can understand the law and make it work for you. I'm David Allen.